<sighs> Welcome to the vlog. I'm vlogging today. Vlog day, and it's time to absolutely brutally destroy my muscles in the most insane, devastating, disgusting workout you've ever seen. As you guys may have heard, I have a competition going on with the one, the only, Mr. Beast to see who can get more ripped in the next nine months. There's Dr. P, my trainer. I call him Dr. P because his name is hard to pronounce and he is the doctor of pain. Okay, so I've got an interesting fact for you. As you guys know, I'm, uh, I'm kind of known on, the, on, the, on YouTube as the pizza guy. I love pizza so much. I recently decided to Google what are the 100 best slices of pizza in the entire world. And I live in Los Angeles, so I figured Los Angeles would be on the list a few times, but I was shocked by my findings. Out of all 100 of the world's best slices of pizza, there is one place on this list that is in Los Angeles, that's it. And that place is called Ray and Stark Bar. And they make a potentially tasty little treat called the Golden Pizza. But before we do that, I've got a little surprise for you guys. <laughs> I saw one of these little tiny microphones on TikTok, so I decided to buy one to vlog with from now on. It's like I'm constantly doing a karaoke show for you guys. I can I can sing and narrate my day. <laughs> pizza for breakfast. Now listen, I know you're thinking, Eric, this microphone makes your audio sound worse, not better. <laughs> but my response is, I don't care. I think it's funny. So, that's what we're gonna do. This is what we're gonna do. I live in LA, never been here before. Been too busy making YouTube videos. It was nine o'clock in the morning, and it was time for Operation Golden Pizza. How's it going, guys? Yeah, I do. Uh, you guys have pizza here? No. There's no golden pizza. All right, I've got good news, and I've got bad news. The bad news. Apparently, this place has discontinued the golden pizza. So if you're ever trying to get the golden flake pizza made by Ray and Stark, it's not gonna happen. It doesn't exist anymore, apparently. The good news. The good news. The good news. I found another, more updated list of the world's top slices of pizza. And it turns out, there's another place in LA, higher on the list, called Pizzana. It's 10 minutes away and I place an order. And I'm gonna go pick it up right now. Let's go. Pizzana. I had a pickup order for Eric. Thanks so much, man, appreciate it. Here we go. So this is vlog number one, and it feels like I haven't made a video on YouTube period where I just talk to you guys in a while. So I'm super excited about this. I'm super excited about the vlog channel. And I wanna talk a little bit about why I, I, I'm really excited about doing this. And I'm gonna do that while I show you guys Los Angeles' only contribution to the world's best pizza list. Oh, that does look good. There you go. Basically, recently I was in uh, Austin with my friend Ryan Trahan. Hey, Ryan. I'll put Ryan's channel right here. Go subscribe to him. I love this man. And Ryan and I shot this vlog together, and I was so inspired by how little went into making that vlog, but how enjoyable watching it was. And it's been this weird thing for me on the main channel where... Over the past two years, basically, I went from zero to 10 million subscribers. But there's this weird thing as the videos get bigger and bigger and bigger, you almost stop having the ability to communicate directly one-on-one -on -one with your, the, the fans, the mafia. And I felt like this for a while, and I've been trying to find the format to do that. And I want you guys to actually comment on this video what you guys would like to see from me. Like, what types of second channels would you guys be interested in watching? Just give me your suggestions in the comments. I'm so open. I feel like... I feel like the entire channel and the reason it's successful is because we take suggestions from you guys on what we should be doing. So I take y'all's feedback super seriously and I would love to know what you guys think. Here we go, first bite. Wow, that is really good. Mm. I wanna give you guys a review, but I just feel like I need another slice, you know? A few life updates that I've been wanting to share with you guys, but I haven't really had a place to do it. I recently bought a house. Crazy. It just kind of blows my mind because I started YouTube two years ago and I was tremendously in debt from stuff that I had been doing prior to YouTube. So to go from that to owning my first home two years later is such a blessing. Obviously, I, I owe all of that to you guys. So thank you guys for putting me in a, in a world where I can do that. It's really cool because by you guys watching the videos and supporting me, We've basically been able to get a house and an office and bring people in that are able to help us scale these videos up even further, which is so exciting. But I just want to tell you guys that that happened and I wanted to say thank you. <laughs> and I don't want you guys to think that I got a house and I'm just, I just don't care. 
and I don't know that you, it came from you guys supporting the videos. So thank you guys, seriously. All right, I'm gonna save the rest of this for later. The final review for Pizzana. Oh man, that was really good. I mean, I have to give it like a freaking 8.9 or like a nine, man. That is amazing pizza. Couple couple things left to do today. Number one, I'm about to go home and change and then get in the car and go shoot some video for the streamies, which I am hosting this year, if you didn't know. It's Halloween, so we're gonna go shoot a bit. We're gonna expose kids stealing candy. And then if I have some time, I'm gonna try to go trick or treating. That's the game plan. That is the game plan and I am late for it. So I'm going to get my phone. Not gonna lie to you guys, I finished that entire pizza on the way to driving myself to the streamies where I ran into my arch nemesis, Michelle Carr. <laughs> Michelle, I'm filming a vlog today. You're vlogging now? I'm vlogging now. Oh. This is my first vlog ever. Congratulations. Maybe we should get like a um, like a photo shoot real quick between the two of us. Obviously. All right, maybe Michelle's not my arch nemesis, but it's Halloween day. Spooky. And I just wanted an excuse to use spooky music. It does make things more interesting. Like watch me get makeup with this music. Yeah. Don't tell anybody about this. Do not tell anybody. I would never about say this. anyone. Hey everyone. <laughs> never say anything. I did that did not happen. <laughs> Guys say hi to the vlog. What's up, vlog? Yay! Anything could happen! I also just want to say thank you to the streamies for having me. You guys can watch the streamies live on my channel on December 4th. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. <laughs> okay, it's 4:51 p.m. And our day together is just getting started. Are you, I, I'm actually, are you actually gonna post these? Like as vlogs? You're gonna, yeah. You committing or is this like you're experimenting? I feel like he's not gonna post it. I love when people tell me I can't do things. What do you guys make of what just happened? I literally was there for four hours and I think I might be in one frame of that video. I, I, well, I'm glad I was there to support you. I know that was probably exhausting for you. What else did you feel about doing all those different shots and takes and stuff like that? It is like always interesting because I've done a couple things like that where it's like there's like a ton of people around you and there's like a bunch of cameras on you and like there's like 50 people focused on making a video for you. And it's just so opposite to what we do, like making YouTube videos. Like I feel like we just pick up the camera and go run around and just perform and do our thing, you know? It's Halloween today, actually. It is Halloween today, yeah. What are you gonna dress up as? And are we going trick or treating? Uh, I'm dressed up oh, as- Oh, we a... should go trick or treating. Plot twist, we went trick or treating. Or at least I went over to my neighbor Aleko's house and rigged his front yard with a bowl full of candy and about 500 speakers. So I could scare children who took more than one piece of candy. It's funny, I promise, just watch. We're all dressed up. Fun, right? So as you can see here, we set up a bunch of hidden cameras uh, and there's a candy bowl right there set up in the front of the house. Oh, Any yeah. kids who basically take more than one piece of candy, we have this mic set up to about 5,000 speakers in the front of the house. That's actually, it's actually three. And basically the goal is just to, you know, punish kids who take more than one piece of candy. Liars, right. thieves. And this is like the behind the scenes of what you guys don't often see is this is all the behind the scenes and work behind just one bit. All right, so basically what's happening here is we have kids oh, like this dog. person right here and they're gonna come trick or treat, and then we're gonna scare them if they steal more than one piece of candy. Oh, oh. What? You fool! You fool! <laughs> Maggie, you're all three. A mom just stole candy bars in front of her children. And after about four hours of doing that, never got old, not even, not even a little bit, I decided to take my 25 year old friend Beans trick or treating for the first time. And this boy was so excited. <laughs> <laughs> All my friends just trick or treating together. It's very wholesome. I can't wait. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh my gosh. Next level effort. Oh my god. Oh yeah. yeah. Yo. Thank you so much. This is the best trick or treating ever. Thank you guys for the candy. Oh. Trick or treat. Smell my feet. Give me something good to eat. Ah.